What's up YouTube? I'm Frankie and I'm at Phoenix International Raceway. What I'm going to do is tell you how you can do a vinyl visor on your car. But before you do that, let's talk about what you'll need. So first thing, obviously, you're going to need that vinyl. It's the same vinyl that I used on my tail lights, and that is that dark black tinted vinyl. So the next thing that you're going to need is definitely a squeegee. Obviously, vinyl is so much easier when you're able to get out all the bubbles, so you're going to need a squeegee. You're also going to need some masking tape or something like that. I used painter's tape. Um, that's just to hold it on there. It's a lot easier also if you do this with somebody else. So if somebody else is there to hold on the other side for you, then you don't have to worry about it. And last but not least, I also use a razor blade to be able to cut not only around where the sensor was, but also to be able to cut the vinyl where it actually is. So now that you guys got that part down, let's take a look at how I installed it, which I did this morning. All right, so now that you guys seen how I did it, let's take a quick walk around. Keep in mind, I am not a vinyl installer. I don't do this as a profession, I do it for fun. But let's take a look at those cinematics. In the last few videos, I've been giving a shout out to each one of you that puts a sticker on your car of either the Panda or the Mark 6 Jetta GLI. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you guys can go to frankiegsme.com and it is completely free to get stickers on there. So Jimmy, thank you for watching my videos. Also, make sure you guys give a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Find me on social media such as Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter. Thanks again for watching another video by Frankie G is me, and I'm out.